Hi guys, Dustin Van Fleet of Dustin Van Fleet Design coming at you live down here from Valdosta, Georgia. And we typically don't do prime time live, so this is a rarity. But John and I think that we're going to start doing them a little bit more. So we came on a couple minutes early like we always do to give you guys some time to hop on. And do we have anybody on yet, John? Not yet. Yes, we do. Awesome. We have you guys already hopping on. Very cool. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, which there's like two watching this because it's all the mothers <laughs> that are watching. Um, but we will, um, I just lost my train of thought because we have like a howling cat on the other side of the door. She wants to know why we're in here without her getting food or something like that. So very interesting. But we're going to let you guys hop on for like another minute and let us know where you guys are at and what your weather is like. We are hot as heck here and we're starting to turn dark outside, but it stays light so long here in the dead of summer. It's crazy. You can go to like what, John, nine o'clock sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's insane. And Laurel says hi. Uh, hello, Ann. Diane on. Oh, uh, wait, just for Anne. Hello, on. <laughs> we have these late night conversations in which we like create all these characters and everything. <laughs> Diane is on from Northport. Florida. Awesome. Hey, Diane, how are you? So we have a bunch of our friends on. We're going to be like showing you guys some new stuff. We've still got the old stuff, the Dixie, but we're still premiere. We do all that good stuff. Um, but we've taken on another line. Uh, paint couture and paint couture is an acrylic water based paint so instead of using waxes with paint couture you're going to use glazes and their glazes are unbelievable and unreal we will not be able to glaze tonight on this particular project but we are coming back tomorrow and that will be when we do our glaze couture and all that good stuff as well so tonight we're going to get our base done we're going to get our pattern on and we're going to add some metallic and i'm going to show off this stuff to you guys and show you how flipping awesome it really is because it's super cool so john you can pan down you can show them we're going to be using baltic black by paint couture we're going to be using italian ivory which i mean we don't even have this stuff loaded on our site yet and it's just taking off and this one sold a lot already and then we're going to use one of their metallics which is incredible guys stardust the coverage on these metallics is something i've never seen in my entire life with a metallic paint which is typically kind of watery and all that good stuff it's like the first coat looks great and then the second coat you're like whoa and they've got little black dress which is a black metallic they've got all kinds of really cool colors so we're super super excited and we're gonna be taking um totally crushing on this iod um lemon transfer so again tonight we won't be able to do the lemon transfer or the um glaze couture on it tonight because i'm gonna let it sit overnight and set up properly but tomorrow we're coming back and we will be using the lemons and i'll have them cut out the way that i want them to be and it'll be a smooth easy transition we're also going to be using our Royal Design Stencil Studios Harlequin stencil here. Great stencil, lasts forever. The thickness, longevity to it is awesome. So I've decided with this stuff, Paint Couture, like I said, is an acrylic water-based paint and you don't need to have any kind of priming and you also don't need to have any kind of mist or bottle or anything because you don't need to move the paint. It's not a chalk mineral paint like Dixie Bell and some of the other chalk paints. So you don't need to move the paint when you blend and things of that nature. It's a little bit different beast, but I'll show you guys all that stuff as we go. So we're going to do these cutouts real quick are by classcutouts.com. The link is in my write-up up above. And you guys can order anything. They're super thick. 
high quality, perfect looking. We love them. The sand job is perfect. And you technically, there's such nice cutouts on both sides. You could make it into two different things. Now we're making my custom front door uh, hanger tonight. So we won't have it complete, but this one's gonna actually go on my door. So I chose the Italian ivory which is crazy because now I can't get it open and I just had <laughs> the stuff open. So there we go. Just had to break the seal. Now this is an eight ounce with paint couture because they give you the wider lip at the top so that you can get your brush in easier. We've already dampened our brush, which you don't necessarily have to do with paint couture, but the coverage is like unreal good. I mean, it's fantastic coverage. Everything will be one coated tonight because the coverage is that good on it. It goes on like butter, super, super smooth and beautiful very silky and creamy this stuff is like really seriously taking on i mean we were laughing because like orders were just coming in and we're like i don't even know the answer to this question right now as to how much this is because i don't even have it posted i just have it written on a piece of paper <laughs> at this point in time so it was hilarious but that should all be coming this week it should be uploaded on the website i've got my guy on it brandon and i'm sure it will look awesome any of you guys need website help brandon at brand mentors is awesome tell him that i sent you and he'll hook you up and he'll hook me up if you say that i sent you we have like a friends and family discount now because i brought him so many people but he's very fair priced and does really really good work produces great websites. If you like my website, which a lot of people have contacted me that they really enjoy it. If you like it, that's who did it. Brandon Mentors. The owner's name is Brandon. Great service that he provides. Super easy. Very, very silky. Creamy. A little bit different than the chalk paint because it is so silky and creamy and nice. No water's needed and your cupboards and all that good stuff, like you actually don't have to prime. You have to thoroughly clean just like you do with Dixie Bell, but you don't have to do the additional priming coats and stuff. This stuff dries to a very, very hard finish. That's another big difference in between the two of them. So we have got our Italian cream on, and I love this color. I mean, it's like one of my go-to. I just gotta get this stuff off. We will be getting rid of the stupid green tablecloth, guys, <laughs> as of tomorrow because it's really annoying. It's like a hundred dollar Ralph Lauren <laughs> blanket that I've decided to use as a tablecloth because I don't like it. But um, we have real tablecloths coming in the very near future. Baltic black, I mean, the name says it all. It's seriously black. I mean, it's deep, deep. We're going to give it a couple minutes. It will be dry to the touch quickly, but just like Dixie Bow, to truly uh, be set up and ready to go for something like a transfer or something like that, it needs some time to dry. You can rush it if you want to. We're just washing this paint off of here right now. Getting it off. Our scrubby soap is awesome. We always have it right here. Lather it up and it just comes off so easy. Smells so good. 
awesome. We're always selling out of scrubbies that we can't keep the stuff in stock. No matter how many we order. Stanley has decided that he's got to lay down right here so that I can't move, guys. So that's the reason why I'm gingerly <laughs> moving about. <laughs> okay. We can tell by the sheen level that it's drying quickly. But look at this. Look down at this Baltic black. I love a true, true black. I mean, that's a true serious black. I don't know what John just did, but I saw the screen change. Is it okay? Okay, cool. I think it's when you like twist it, you know, guys, and it says rotate it back. It always gives me a heart attack because I know people who like do it and then they don't rotate it back fast enough and then it's stuck the wrong way for the rest of the life. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. We're close. I don't want to rush it just too, too much. But do we have any questions on the water-based acrylic paint? This will be the Stardust Metallic that I'll show you guys. I'll open it. And I'll show you what we're going to do with it later. But look at that. I mean, John is like filtering out the light so you can't see all of it. There's no way that he can shoot it without being in there. But I mean, it seriously has... There's a question, somebody came on late. What are you painting with? Which brush? Just a chip brush, premium chip brush, absolutely. We have got one, two, three, four, what, five new brushes? Yep. Mm -hmm. We've got Zebra. We're painting with Paint Couture Paint. Um, I think that's what they were actually asking, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Paint Couture Paint, and Paint Couture is a water-based acrylic. We have started carrying the line, but we are so new at it that we don't have it loaded online or anything. So people have just been sending me messages to get it. With all of that, good stuff. Hey, there's a question. Yes. Um, can Dixie Bell paint and paint couture be used on the same project? You can intermingle them because they're both water-based. Now the paints are different. With paint couture, you don't use wax with it because it's acrylic. So wax really isn't gonna do anything to this. Whereas Dixie Bell it would. With Paint Couture, you use our line of um, Couture Glaze, which is the best glaze I've ever used in my life. The metallics and the glaze are unreal. The paint is super, super creamy, awesome finish. Both are great products. Both are meant to do different things. Uh, the metallics have a luster and a sheen that you can't find with any other brand. Also, the coverage is unreal. I mean, this is one coat coverage on here. We're done with that particular thing. So, now, this is going to be fun for me. So, I am not measuring it. That's the fun piece that's going to go on the front door. I'm having fun with it. It's going to look good because I have a pretty good sense of being able to eyeball things. And let me get these. Yeah, thank you, Stanley. <laughs> He's decided that he can finally move on. Okay. When stenciling, always have a paper towel nearby. We're just going to dip into the Baltic black. We're going to take off. Again, we are not looking for like a solid, solid stencil because I love the way it comes out. Worn looking for me when I don't fill in the entire stencil perfectly. You'll notice when you use a brush like this guy, a lot of times I just had to trim this one. The center of it will start wearing out, but then the sides will be longer. Just take your scissors, trim it up, and you can get another year out of it. <laughs> this thing is from like 2016, guys. Like, and I'm, what's up? Someone's asking again about the stencils, where they come from. Royal Design Stencil Studio. 
they're pricey they will last you forever you will never ever have to get another stencil of this type again in your life they you can't wear them out unless you just cut them into pieces or did something horrific to them but we are not going for We're not going for a look where it's completely filled in. That's just not my thing. And I always show you guys tips and tricks. So this is a tip and a trick to use a stencil. But to get a look like you did it 100 years ago. That's one thing about stencils. A lot of people misuse them. Nobody wants a stencil that looks like you did it tonight. Especially on these pieces where we're creating faux finishes and making it look all pretty and beautiful and doing all kinds of stuff to it. They don't want it to look like made in China, done tonight type thing. They want it to look old. And that does not mean that you have to like get it perfect or that you just have to keep adding paint to something. Paint Couture is on, and they had mentioned that these are very easy to clean with this kind of paint. Yes, it is. I used it with one other stencil, and it was super easy to like clean off. And hello, Paint Couture. I think it's what, Katie? Or is it Paint Couture? Paint Couture Company. Yay, Paint Couture themselves have honored me. <laughs> If you hear weird digging sounds, it's just Bandit. He digs into the ground when he thinks that it might rain. <laughs> it's not going to rain, but he thinks it's going to rain. So that's all that matters. So we're on here. Doing it up. Change your style. Come through this way. Then come through this way. Then you don't get like a weird pattern that you don't want type of thing going on. Owen's cutouts are awesome. The quality is like fantastic. Okay. Now we've done a line all the way down. It's very easy to repeat a stencil once you've done what we've just done and you've created a pattern effect all the way down. We were so excited because our paint to couture actually came in this morning. It started coming in yesterday and we were like not so excited because actually we were pissed because, <laughs> because paint couture had sent it all awesomely. But then FedEx decided that we only needed to get three of like seven or eight boxes. So yeah not happy with that but then fedex came the next day and today and made it all good so can't complain too much but i was like all excited when i saw it coming then i was like oh we only get to like sample paint couture today john because <laughs> we're not allowed to like see what the whole thing is i don't know why they break stuff like that up because it's so annoying when they do that Worst practice ever, FedEx. If you're listening, stop. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine wanting to come back like 70 times to the same neighborhood. So it makes no sense to me. That is a question. Yes. Does tapping down on your brush like that ruin it? It will eventually. I mean, does it ruin it like right now? It will after like a year. But I mean, it was like $6. So I mean, it's not anything devastating. Um, so yes, it'll wear the center out a little bit. That's what I was just saying earlier. Take your scissors and just cut on the left and right and even it out again. I just did it before. Actually, I should have done it with you guys so that I could show you, but you just trim the bottom straight again and you're all good. I mean, this thing has lasted years, so I can't ask for anything more out of it. 
you don't want to use like one of your super expensive brushes and pounce with it no but this is a premium chip and it's a workhorse so Those. We're skipping around a little bit, guys, so that we won't be hitting something while it's wet. But if you notice, intentionally, some are darker and then some are lighter and then some are kind of like medium. That's intentional because it gives you like a marbleized look when it's all said and done. So now we need to finish this one. And this will be, for those of you just hopping on, this will be my front door hanger when we're done with it we will not be able to do everything tonight but we don't typically do a whole lot of evening lives but i'm starting to kind of get into them and enjoy them so we're gonna do some more and you want variety on here you don't well i don't on this specifically want everything to be like oh it's a blackout type thing just mention um, where you got the cutout from the cutout is classcutouts.com i have it listed in the right up above most important part of stenciling guys is offloading your brush this is the most important part of stenciling do it incorrectly And you'll have a mask. There's no bleeding there. Correct. People have trouble with stencils because they put too much paint on and they don't offload it. If you do get a little bit too much like I did right there, don't panic. Just put some down and then start spreading it to a whole bunch of different areas. Okay. We are almost there, guys, with this part. But you see, the process moves pretty quickly, guys, with Paint Couture, just like it does with our other brand, Dixie Bell. So it's fast process. Does not take forever for you to be able to move on to the next step, which I like. Now, I let my Paint Couture set up. That's why we are not completing this entire project tonight. And that's why we will... Um, be coming back with you tomorrow to put the actual transfer on that we're going to use and again super excited about this transfer but i love the iod lemon transfer love it and that will be the one that we're going to use I'm seeing it done really fresh in like many different ways and that's what's super cool about it because some of them just get played out so fast and this has been so fresh and interesting because everybody has a different take and variation on this particular one. And we will just do a quick overlay right here even though it's wet. We won't touch it. We won't add any more product, no more paint. So as you see, we're gonna do this project and we're barely gonna use any paint at all out of the paint couture. Okay, so we've got the Baltic black on right now. Again, stunning, stunning here. This one's easier. Stunning, stunning, pure, pure jet black which I like the Italian ivory is like selling off the chain beautiful color bowl take a black these two are on here right now and we're gonna play with some stardust which is like incredible I mean it's like not even funny <laughs> how good stardust is they were like all telling me when we were talking on the phone and i'm like 
I mean, when we were initially chatting and they sent me like a care package with the stuff and I'm like, yeah, 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 and I'm sure it's like really great. And then like I opened it and I was like, OMG, this is like the best metallic I've ever used. The stuff cleans off very easy with scrubby soap. Scrubby soap is on the website. All of our paint couture products will be on the website. They're not right now because Brandon's not going to work on a Sunday on my paint couture. <laughs> paint. I wish, but no. <laughs> Super easy to get it off. Acrylic water based, guys. So there's a question how many times can you use a stencil? Uh, this one, I've had this one for since 2015 and I probably use it about dead seriously those people who know me will know that I'm telling the truth 40 50 times a year anybody who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with Harlequin it's still like oh, you just have to clean it right? yes Soap and, water. and made me my awesome koozie <laughs> thank you <Anne. laughs> <laughs> and also maybe an awesome t-shirt and I'll be wearing that soon too she custom makes these things I've got her site on my page and she does an awesome job with it so now we're pulling out some paint daubers paint daubers are little wooden dowels that have a dauber on the end of it Something that I'm famous for is Harlequin's not enough glam, even though it's glam. We gotta add some more. So we add some detail. But look at that. I mean, that's lustrous for real. But we connect all the dots. with the actual metallic so then we can add another one and they have one that i'm really excited about i have not gotten to use it yet but it's like what's it called aluminum something aluminum i'm like stoked to use it it really does look like aluminum but you see this does not take forever but it adds that like Mackenzie Child's detail that you need to really make this pop and intense. So we're adding a triple layer now. We've got the Italian ivory. We've got the Baltic black. Now we're adding some of the metallic stardust. The more visual interest that you have going on on something, for me, the better. <laughs> I like visual interest. And this doesn't take forever, but like I said, it really makes it customized. Instead of being like everybody else's. Putting these little stamp details on or the thing that makes your piece your piece. And we all develop a style over time. This is touching on many of my signature things like the worn looking stencil without ever sanding it or it's just the way that I actually apply the stencil. And notice how this metallic is not bling in gold or something. It's not overpowering the work it's there and it's pretty and it's got some sparkle but it's not overpowering anything hmm i think i missed a tiny little piece there so we'll go back i'll show you how easy that is too because sometimes when you're working with a repetitive pattern like this it's very easy just to leave like a little corner off or something so before we go on, 
will correct it because I'm obsessive compulsive about things like that. I don't know if I did. It's going to be too hard because I just put the metallic on. So we'll wait one second. We'll go back. We'll do the rest of the metallic and then we will get it on there. Yeah, I just fell victim to what I always teach. Don't leave off the little pieces or else the pattern looks weird. <laughs> so we're cruising along. This adds a lot of detail. There's a question, what size uh, paint are you carrying in? We have the four ounce sample size, which is this size. And then we have the 16 ounce of the regular paint. And then on the metallics, we have four ounces available because what we found is a lot of people don't want a 16 or a 32 metallic because they're not going to use it all. And it's just going to like sit there forever and ever and ever. So we carry the smaller sizes on it. We have another question. Yes. I love my Dixie Bell paint. Yeah. How does paint couture compare to it? Girl, I love my Dixie Bell paint too. I've been with them since 2000 and what, 13, John? 12, 13. Like we were with Dixie Bell before Dixie Bell was even a thing type of thing when it was in glass, mason jars. Love it. Paint couture is super, super cool. It is a different paint. It does different things. How does it compare if I were comparing them? They're both quality products and they both um, give you a quality result. I don't think that like, like the coverage on Paint Couture is better one coat coverage type of thing. Dixie Belle dries faster, like to let me like fly through. So they just have different things about them. There is no like, oh, this one stinks or this one's better, blah, blah, blah. Okay, definitely did not mean for this to happen. <laughs> okay, so we'll just take a little bit of Baltic black right here, get some of it off. We got to do this little thing that I forgot right here. Okay, we're going to lift straight up so that we won't mess anything up. Then we got to come back over here. Hook that one up, that one, that one, and that one. Because those are the ones that it would have taught. So now we've got a little bit of bling on here as well. We are also going to take this metallic and we're going to put our piece. This is a trick that I do, guys. We're going to put our piece on. The corner which I'll move over here John you won't have to come over here I'll do it over here for them so that they'll have really really good lighting and I need like a little artsy brush so we'll do that if you put it on a corner you can get half of your sides painted in one foul swoop So we are using the, um, I always forget the name of it. I want to say Moonstruck the movie and it's Stardust. We're using the Stardust. We're going to come down here using a little art brush. The stuff has incredible coverage. I don't even think I'm going to have to do a second, which is like, unheard of for metallic paints. This is an area where paint couture is extremely, extremely strong. Question about the daubers. Yes. Are they, are they reusable? Yes. Just, do you wash them? 
Yep, I'll show you guys in one sec. When we do a cleanup, I'll clean it up for you. But this is like pretty incredible because we really aren't going to have to do a second coat, which like I said, this is one of their huge, huge strengths coverage. Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, that made a lot of sense. That's one of the lovely things about using art brushes. But super easy to get up off the floor and I wash the floor all at the same time. So, <laughs> But if you look, look at the sheen and the one coat coverage. That does not often happen with metallic paints. Lots of time metallic paint. I have customers that call me all the time. I'm using metallics. It's taking three, four, five coat, which is not cool and nobody has time for, really. I'm going to have to get there, John, right where you are. Okay. Stanley thinks that this means that I'm going to play with him. You don't want to eat paint, Stanley. Go like it. Because I'm down here, he thinks that it's playtime. <laughs> but yeah, we will not have to do an additional coat. Look how this dress is up the side. We're not blobbing it on. This is just like a little cheapy art brush. Now you can really see it because the lights. That's pretty unreal. Look at that sparkle in it. So this, to me, is where Paint Couture seriously excels, guys. The metallics are unreal. The paints are just so creamy. And like I said, the coverage is top flight. If you notice in the write-up, I put complete couture coverage. That's because complete couture coverage needs to be celebrated with this paint. Like people don't know just by looking at the name Paint Couture, they have no idea that the coverage is probably the best I've ever used. We've got the... And yes, they are interchangeable. So, they're both water-based lines and totally interchangeable paint. Just mention again where the cutouts came from. Classcutouts.com. It's up at the top of the write up that I did for this live. I've got a link up there to it. But look at that one coat coverage that we're getting with this stuff. Again, I can't say it enough. Like how unreal that is. This is very unnatural for me painting like this. But I'm trying to get it where you guys get to see the most sparkle. So the cool thing is when you put it on the corner like this, all you have to do is flip it around. To finish. Easy peasy. So this is raw wood, guys. This does not even have paint couture on it. This is the coverage of the metallic. 
This doesn't have any like-minded color underneath it and all that good stuff. It's wood. That's raw. And these are all some metallic. I know I've introduced you guys to this one a couple times. We will be moving on, but I just can't get over it. <laughs> so. I'm still as in love with it as I was when I first tried it. And remember guys, they had to do a sell job on me too, because you guys aren't the only one that only used Dixie Bell for years. I've used every single paint brand, but I've been with Dixie Bell for many years now. So in order for somebody to send me some paint and for me to be impressed and for me to open up my wallet the way that I did, yeah, it's gotta be good because I'm not paying for something but isn't. We all know this stuff isn't cheap, so. And again, it's just all about having the right brushes, guys. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I can't get it around the edge like that cleanly you can you just have to invest in the right products and they're not super expensive guys like you can get this down at walmart these little art brushes the tools of your trade are super super important and people are always trying to scamp on them and it's one thing you can't scamp on them at all so your paint's also not going to dry up when you leave the top off because it's acrylic based it's still just as nice as it was the chalk paint that's another difference right there starts drying up so you're asking about the daubers we'll put this on here And we'll take this one, this one, and this one over, guys. And this is just our kitchen sink. So again, not anything that's gonna hurt anything. We use our scrubby soap, which everybody should have. Makes no mess at all. And your brushes are like brand new afterwards. Little art brush, new. Paint dauber, you don't want to scrub a paint dauber ever. You want to press down on it, not ripping the dauber part off. You just want to wash it off and keep pressing down on it. But if you look, we use silver all over this and there's no silver just by washing it off so very very simple the paint couture cleans up very very nicely just like dixie but it's all water based one of the huge differences for me is that it's a glaze based paint which i'm actually really enjoying you don't use waxes with paint couture. So on this one, you're not gonna sit there and like rough it up or anything. You're just gonna pounce it to dry it off. And then this one's powerful. You can do whatever you want to this thing and it's still not gonna die. Okay, so we got that and that. So where we're at right now, I'll hold it up in one second, but we're going to be ready for our black chiffon glaze to go on this tomorrow. And we're going to use this decor, IOD decor transfer 
the lemon one. And we're gonna kind of do like a wreath of lemons around the outside of it. I had made one for my mom and then I really liked it. And I was like, I wish I could like take this back now, but I can't type of <laughs> So let's get right here. Can't hold it up, up, John, but see the sparkle and bling and then on the side. That's awesome. So we're gonna be ready to let this bad boy do its thing and sit tonight. Uh, dry up, cause I'm not gonna hold you. Baby wipes are awesome. You get some metallic on you, wipes right off. Like, I mean, invest in them if you're gonna use this type of paint, cause the baby wipes clean up everything with ease. So we're ready to go. We have our pattern. We've used our Italian ivory. Gorgeous color. We went over it with Baltic black and we used that on our Harlequin. Then we put our embellishments in our sides in Stardust to get that shimmer and shine. We've used nothing but a chip brush, a paint dauber, which comes in different sizes, guys. So see, in the same package, you can get the larger one right here. They come in a package. You can get them at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And then we always have tons and tons of art brushes because you never know what you're gonna need and when you're gonna need it type thing. We've got our brushes clean. We showed you how easy it was to clean up after paint couture. And literally, we throw this stuff away. And typically, what's that? Do you wanna know when are you gonna finish this? We are going to go live tomorrow at, let's say, Let's do it again at the same time. Let's go live tomorrow at eight guys and we'll finish it up. But I'll show you real quick something that you guys have asked about uh, and it's cleaning a stencil. So we will. Super, super easy clean up with paint couture. We got some warm water. You don't want devastatingly hot water. Just warm water, a little scrub brush. You could use scrubby soap, but I'm not. I don't want to like waste it because I love my scrubby soap. And this stuff just comes off so easily. And your stencil will quickly looks like brand new all over again and it had all that black hanging all over it it looked like it was like ruined for life if you have a bigger stencil guy i go in with the bathtub and do this and just put it at the bottom of the tub and a flat surface Up. You'll wash both sides off, rinse down because there's nothing here that's going to hurt anything. Put the sink back together again. Spray your away, and then you'll lay it down flat. You'll take a couple paper towels and you're gonna pat the front of it, pick it up, dry this off. These are Royal Design Stencil. Royal Design Stencil Studio. Just keep going over them, pat it. Boom, mm -hmm. boom. Your 
stencil is for next time. brand new again. Always clean your stencils, guys. Don't let your stencils like sit for a week with that paint all over them. And we're done. The kitchen is cleaned up other than taking the tablecloth off, which we're going to let this dry. Our paint is put away. All we have to do is literally put away a couple supplies. The project took 45 minutes to do up to this point. Clean up took, what, five to do? I mean, it was crazy. And we're here at this point in time. And we've got that sheen and that glitter going on. So we will finish this off at 8 p.m. tomorrow, guys, okay? Same time, same place. Remember, my website is dustinvanfleetdesign.com. Remember, at the top of this page, we have a contest. You guys post your pictures of work that is done with Dixie Bell. Um, or would you been? and post your picture whoever gets the whoever's picture gets the most likes by the end of the month which we have a brutal contest going on right now there's some ladies seriously going at it but whoever has the most likes at the end of the month it doesn't matter if it's a heart a like whatever whoever has the most at the end of the month is the winner of a 100 dollars shopping spree on my website so I would be posting away because a hundred bucks worth of stuff is a hundred bucks worth of stuff. We don't have paint couture on there because this was pre paint couture coming along for me as a business proposition. But that's not to say that we won't have paint couture and paint couture has hooked me up with many, many two ounce samples guys. So those of you who participate, those of you who are making like purchases early on before it's even on the site, we can throw in all kinds of cool stuff for you. So remember, DustinVanFleetDesign.com. Go on there. You can check out our website, check out what we have to offer. $39.95 or more, you get free shipping. If you're looking for Paint Couture, it's not on there right now message me you can message me through the website or you can message me through facebook if you go through the website it's going to go straight to my email if you go through facebook i'm going to get it faster um and we've already got a shipment of three or four orders going out and this stuff hasn't even hit the shelves yet really so shoot me a message if you want any um i've got pricing and everything but i just don't have it memorized guys so message me up and i can get you anything that you want we're carrying in the regular paint fours and 16s in the metallic paint we're carrying fours in the glaze we're carrying eight ounces and in the top coats of dead flat flat and satin we are carrying 16 ounce or as they like to say pints but i never say pint i always say 16 ounce i'm dixie bell train sorry guys but um so we will catch you guys tomorrow and i'll see you guys on the flip side